Hey, any fast shit, it's the 14th of July, 2019, the gas can adventure continues, this is like just amazing stuff you guys, I mean this is how God works in your life when you're diligently seeking him, um, but you remember the gas cans I would assume, and uh, I cannot get away from this, this is so amazing to me, I woke up yesterday morning and 53 was in my mind and in my vision. I couldn't really understand what it was pointing to, but I, I had that in my mind, but I can't say for sure, right? But there's so many things connected to this that I cannot not share this with you. This is, this is undeniably stuff that just cannot happen. And I give all glory to God. You know, they are personal things for each one of us, but at the same time, you know, we share these things to encourage people because God is real, people. Jesus is real. And the end times are here, closer than we think. You know what I'm saying? But the gas can, the 53, I always think of Isaiah 53 when I hear that number. And the 153, obviously, I mean, I think of John 21. And this all ties in. This is just crazy, crazy awesome stuff okay now let's start with the gas can because this is amazing to me oh and by the way a couple commenters made the this comment that the two main quakes that happened last week on the fourth and fifth if you add those two together the 6.4 and the 7.1 you wind up with 13.5 the 135 531 153 any combination with this this leads to is just amazing uh, the gas can. We have to look at this numerologically. And you, these are God's numbers, people. The numerical value of letters. It's the same as all the other ways that you go about it. God's numbers, God's letters. And if you reduce the gas can, okay, the G7A1S1, it's a 711. And the can is a 3, a 1, and a 5. It's just the way it is. That's what they are. Gas can. 7-11-3-15. And they both add up to 9. Okay, this is a completeness. This is like a, a finished work. The 9. The 17. The 17. It's everywhere. 17 times 9 equals 153. Okay, you see how this works? The can 315. 17 times 9. And it turns out also that the 17th coming up here of July is the 13th day of the 5th month <laughs> in one of the Jewish calendars known as the Torah calendar. But isn't that just crazy? The 513. And get this. If you take 513 plus 153, it's 666. It, I mean... How do you even get around this stuff, right? So Isaiah 53, 1, who has believed our report? Again, you know, it's like we look at these things and we share these things with each other. Who would believe this? You know what I mean? Unless, unless you're in the spirit of God. It's the only way you could see and understand how God talks to us, you know? And again, it's like 99% of this stuff, I don't know exactly what it means. But as it becomes more obvious and evident, I know that God's Spirit is speaking to the world. And it's for us as individuals to realize we need to listen for the Word of God. Like Isaiah 53, who has believed our report? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The force, the help of God. Now get a load of this. Just that word alone, arm, which is mighty, force, help. The Hebrew 2220. Get a load of this. This is just the kind of thing you can't get around, you guys. To H2220, all right? And now H153, right? Look at, look at this one. Arm, power, force. 153. Well, what's 2220, all right? H2220. Force, help, power, strength, the same exact word, right? 
go back to the 153, we find out that it actually derives, okay, a variation of 1872, which comes from H2220. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you can't get around this stuff. Even John 21, the 153 fish in the net. Look at the word net, right? But Simon Peter went up and drew the net. Look at the, look at the word for net. G1350. It's a 153. That is insane, you guys. But what I wanted to show you really too. Oh, you know what? Someone pointed out to me yesterday. This is just crazy to me. That video with the gas cans, okay? This video that I put up the other day with the 717 gas cans, that was literally the 717th video that I had uploaded to this channel. I just think that's insane. But there it is once again, you know what I mean? And this is the fun part. I'm going to show you a little clip, okay, of a little journey I made yesterday to fill those gas cans. I literally was going to fill those gas cans. And the, the route that I go to get gas is literally on Route 153. This is right down the street from my house. And I'll show you on a map. But you just got to watch this for just one minute. Hey, any fish? I'm just showing you. I'm just coming back from from filling these gas cans, right? And I was compelled. It just came upon me. The Lord put it upon me to stop here. And this intersection right here, you see we're down there where that truck's going? That's my road right there. You get down that road and you get to my house. And why I'm showing you this area right here is because this road that we're on right now is route 153 that is the route number of this road and this whole district is called Lords Hill District historical right and then right down this road right in front of us that's where you go to get to my house and I'm at the corner of Province Lake and Plantation now you just can't make this stuff up you guys there's something going on here that I can't explain but I'm sure gonna keep looking into it praise God all glory to God okay so and that place is called Lord's Hill and it's at the intersection of Province Lake Road and Plantation Road <laughs> okay now Route 153 I've known I've lived here for quite a while and I've always known it's there, but the Lord never led me to really do anything with it. You know what I mean? I can't force that stuff. But the intersection, province and plantation. <laughs> well, God has province over the plantation. I mean, these are the things that I'm led to see, you guys. That's all I'm saying. But look at this, plantation, okay? A, usually a large group of plants, especially trees under cultivation, so on and so forth, right? But think about this, the plantation and the province, right? If you say that a subject or activity is a particular person's province, you mean that this person has a special interest in it, a special knowledge of it, or a special responsibility for it god is over the plantation he has province over the plantation this is just amazing stuff to me you guys and the house the the main compound of that plantation is number 666 look at this this is the map of what i just showed you in that video this is the road i was coming up from the gas station and i stopped right here in the number of this <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. 666 Province Lake Road. And look at the name of this little cut through road. Lord's Hill. And there's Plantation right there. 153. And my house is right down this road. If I zoom it out to like here, you can actually see my house on this map now. 
It's just insane, you guys. But I mean, how can I not share this with you? I mean, seriously, that would be like quenching the Holy Spirit, you know what I mean? Do you know the, the word plantation? This is insane to me, you guys. You can't ever, ever make stuff like this up. If you do, you're insane. The only use in the Bible is in Ezekiel 17, 7. I suggest everyone go read all this scripture. But the net, the arm of the Lord, the plantation. This is just too much, guys. You know what I mean? Praise God. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to God. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 